They say music begins or brings us together and fills our hearts with joy. So what's better than starting your Sunday with some good old-fashioned gospel sounds? Former Joy Celebration member Lundi Wespen Mumalo has released two new singles. The Pongola born gospel artist is also known for songs such as El Shaddai as well as Nguye Moya Oinguele as well as Umile Njalo. She joins us in the studio now to tell us a little bit more about her latest offerings. Thank you so much uh, for your time, Lundi. Welcome to the South African Morning. Let's talk a little bit about your journey because and you and I were speaking a little bit about it off air saying yeah. that yours is such an African-American kind of story it's, <laughs> I was singing in church and then I got discovered you know a lot of people start that and yeah. I was singing in church and then I got discovered but just talk a little bit about that journey of discovery because you were discovered from one would say this actually quite a young age because it was you were still in high school from what I understand y yes. just talk a little bit about that um, I, I, I didn't know that I could sing Really? Yes. I didn't know that I could sing, especially, you know, in front of people. Mm. <laughs> so uh, our church during that time, um, we went to Evangelical and there was no worship team, you know. <laughs> you know, so we were never exposed to leading songs mm. until grade 11 in one of those um, prayer um, during the week prayer sessions mm. and they uh, they asked me to sing not because I could because I was the youngest in the group <laughs> oh so just ask, ask us to open up in song you know yes, says, <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I led the song and they were all surprised and about I go so why are you not part of the worship team that's how it started oh wow yeah and then from there on having to to encourage and to be encouraged and supported in your craft how did that come about um, I got um, invited now locally you know um, churches funerals weddings and then in one of those events I met a guy called Mkwali Simbete. Many of, of South Africans know him mm -hmm. and he was like wow. Then he featured me on a song called Hosanna. And then uh, 2017 August there were joyous celebration um, auditions mm -hmm. at Newtown. So I went there. Oh, I was so discouraged. The what? line there. <laughs> and oh, you know. <laughs> when it comes to the joyous celebration. Yo, really? The auditions. Yo, the auditions. Well, they'll never take me, but I'm good at talking. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, if they want to talk her, they'll be But there's a me. saying if you can talk, you can <laughs> sing. <laughs> Not me, trust me. <laughs> but yeah, so you you, were, so you, you get in to, at the auditions, it's in Newtown. You yes. see the kids are really long queue. And yes, and I see family faces, you know, people that sing on TV. I'm like, mm. This is going to be tough, you yeah. know. I was already discouraged. But, you know, I continued because I trusted the Lord. Then I went and auditioned. And they said, don't call us, we'll call you. Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, after some months, I think they called me in October. Mm. Um, they came and surprised me at work that they have, uh, you know, accepted me at just celebration. Uh, it was... I couldn't believe it. Let me put it like that. Yeah. I couldn't believe it because I mean, how many thousands of people actually get to audition per, <sighs> se per season? I would think that there's a season of auditions at Joyce Okay, let me give you a time frame, rather. Yeah. You know, we got there um, at around five in the morning. Mm -hmm. We've already got people there, and the whole day, the whole day, they were still auditioning. Sure. You can imagine how long that queue is there. Yeah. And out of all those hopefuls, you managed to get in? I managed to get in. You know, they called me on the same day mm. and they said, please come and do second auditions. And, you know, that was already an achievement for me. It was enough, <laughs> you know. And then when they called me to tell me they have accepted, you know, I didn't, I didn't have any uh, background, musical mm. background in terms of going to school or any qualification for music. I didn't know any musical term, you know. Um, it, it, uh, it's grace. It really is grace, yeah, isn't it? It's grace. And, and more than anything else, I think you are learning just how talented you are with every single day that you <laughs> Yes, go, you, you know, I discover me. Yeah. I'm like, okay, this is me. Oh, my God. I can sing. <laughs> I'm <Yeah. at> the <laughs> You know. <laughs> no, but it, it really is It's beautiful to, to hear somebody who's unraveling in their talent as well as in their mm -hmm. craft. Um, and I always, and you and I were having a conversation saying that joyous celebration really 
is taken as that place where stars are made, gospel artists are made, is that true. school of music, so as it were. Um, and just talk to us a little bit about what kind of training is actually, uh, or actually takes place within that platform, because you've got an array of musicians, all hopefuls, all wanting to release their own albums, yeah. all wanting to be superstars. But what does it feel like to be within that melting pot of just talented individuals? When I got there the first day, I realized I can't sing. And I don't know what I'm going to tell those people. I feel like quitting already. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Number one, the musical terms, you know, when they communicate mm. during rehearsals, you can't even understand what they are saying, you know. Transpose, you don't, you don't know what that means, yeah. you know. You're straight from it and I was. Singing off the hymn book. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But I would really like to appreciate, especially Ubabum Kize, Ubabulin mm. Danlan uh, Kize. He gave me an opportunity, you know. Every show he made sure that I had a solo to sing. Sure. Every show, even out of the country, where I felt like no people are not going to understand. You, at the time, I used to sing in Jengen Ruzeli Langazeli Lamans. I'm thinking, where in Botswana? What are they going to understand? You know, I thought they're going to choose those English songs. He gave me an opportunity every time you know and you know jazz doesn't only teach you about the musical terms and the musical the singing part of things you know mm. you get to you know pro the production side you know mm. now that I'm, I'm i'm on my own musically i I apply the things that I've learned there. I know now w when it comes to production, what must be done, who must do this, you know. It's all the things I learned from Dress Celebration. And of course, now you've got a second offering. Very quickly, what is it all about? Um, it's Utumo mm Esishalueni. -hmm. It's a praise song, you know. Um, at, at the season, you know, in my spirit, I felt like the church is now manipulated to offer. Mm. The, the, the church is now used as a scheme to make money. A business deal. Yes, a business deal, you know. And those people come honestly wanting something from God and they are told you must pay this amount so that God can heal your child or God can do that, you know. Mm -hmm. And the song says, because when I look back, looking at what the Lord has done for me, in my spirit, no one telling me, come and offer 10,000. In my spirit, Ooh, I feel like I have to go and offer because of what you have done. But people are going to tell me to wrap